hello everyone this is the continue of the part a so in this video we will see the implementation of the part b where we will create this subgrid on the of the contact on the account then we will create a web resource to uh, add the button on command button on the subgrid and we will execute the one of the method of, of this web resource to call the action so this is the part b implementation so in the part a let me tell you what we we have done so in the part a i'll go to the main screen here so in the part a we have created a action this one this action is uh, consumed in the plugin so this is the plugin we have created using the NuGet package so this is the a NuGet package a new a new package so we have added in the plugin registration tool and the logic of the plugin is here where we this is the plugin code actually to send the sms of the tulio where we we uh, get the target contact here and then uh, we get the mobile number from the contact and for each contact uh, for that mobile number of that contact we are sending the sms uh, on that uh, using the tulio service so this is the code for sending the sms so this is a very simple plugin and then that we have developed and we have tested in the plugin of that plugin on action using this rest builder so we will use this rest builder to design the part b here so as in the part b we are having the first to have this subgrid right so what i have done is if i'll go to the solution this is my solution we are going to make some changes so here in the solution i have the account table and on the form of the account this is the account form i have already included the subgrid i built it so let me open this form designer okay so here in, i have added the separate tab contact tab and here uh, i have included the subgrid so this thing you can include using this option here the add tab and then add the subgrid this subgrid i am I have given this is the name of the subgrid. This name we need because in the JavaScript we need to get the control of the subgrid so that from the subgrid, whatever the records we have selected, we can retrieve it. So this name is important. Then also in the subgrid, we are showing only the related records, which means all the contacts which is having this account selected, those contacts we will see under this subgrid. And here the view is active contact like that it is designed so now you can see uh, this is the very you know, default configurations uh, remaining of this subgrid i have already published it so if i'll go to the my account here i have account list into the my model driven app dnlb here i'll open this account here and if i go to the of this account form and the tab of this contact i have these five contacts associated to this account so i can see it this is how it will display so this is part of the adding this subgrid on the contact uh, sub subgrid of contact on the account we have done it so next part is adding the command button to here so here we are having the out of the box button will will come which will come here we need to add one button here to send the sms when we select it right so for that what i'm going to do we need to modify this a little bit but before that we need to have the wave resource so we need to create the wave resource to handle that command logic so i'm going to create the wave resource and already i have developed the function code for that so i will refer that one i'll i'll explore that step so in this part two we in the part b we are having the second step is creating the wave resource so we'll create the wave resource here so we'll go to the wave resource new more and then wave resource the name of this wave resource will give scripts slash command dot chairs your scripts slash command dot chairs the file type will be the javascript and then we need to browse the file so but before that and what i'm going to do in my plugin solution i'm going to add new folder here usually the the web resources and javascript and html 
it should have a separate project in your pro actually when you implement the project but here this is the demo so i'm going to add the new folder here for the wave resource and inside this folder i will add the new file that will be uh, dnlb underscore command dot js okay so this is the file js file i have have just added and the code already i have done it so i'll just copy the code and then paste here so this is the code let me walk you through the code first then we will register this web resource into the dynamics so here the first i'm in the beginning i'm initializing the uh, namespace and then the command dnlb command is the final uh, namespace and then here we are having the contact and this is the immediate invoking function on this contact namespace where we are having the send message as one of the function which is taking the primary control here as an input parameter and then from the primary control we are getting the control of the subgrid so this is the name of the subgrid right i have shown you before so if you go to the designer of this table uh, when i showed you right in the uh, account table we had that one so this is the this is the subgrid the name of this subgrid is uh, contact uh, contact subgrid this we i have already shown you then if the contact subgrid is retrieved then we are getting the from the subgrid get all the uh, get the grids and from the selected rows what are selected we will get the items of that one then we are having the count of also of that the length of the uh, uh, con total record selected if the count is zero then obviously we don't need to call the action so in that case we will just uh, pop up the message user that no contact has been selected so we cannot uh, send the sms and this is the details of uh, open the dialog the confirmation dialog it will open next is if the contact is selected then we have created this message that uh, the these many contact has been selected are you sure you want to process so it is another confirmation if the contact is selected if they are selecting this dialog will open if the confirmation dialog and if the they have selected which is success means which means okay then uh, we are going to send the sms for those selected contacts so for that we have to loop through each uh, contacts which is selected and for each contact row we'll get the contact id we are replacing if it has any curly braces re replace into that contact id then we are making the http uh, post call using this uh, this is the same code which we have seen here so if you see in, in the rest builder we have tested it it was it has executed but this error came from the tulia because this number was not verified so this code is working so we have used this code so i'll just change this name here maybe if it is incorrect so this is the name of our action so i'll just update that name here this is the name of our action so i'll just change it okay fine so this is our final uh, namespace of our action and then here we are having some uh, when it is done so it is just sending the sms to the uh, it is it will just call that particular uh, action here and once it is done then it will it will execute that action so this code is very simple so also uh, this code uh, the entire package what we are doing into this video series it will be uh, available on my github repository i'll share you the link if you want to try it you can download from there and try it so this is the our final code so we are we have to register this into the web resource i'll open into the containing folder this is the containing for folder where our web resource is there so i'll copy this path then we'll go to the our uh, solution of the environment and then this is the web resource we were creating right so here we have given this name this is the schema name the file type is javascript and then we will browse the file here so i'll just browse the path so this is the file copy open it and save and then we'll select it and we'll publish so one more thing i wanted to tell you here is that we are having the return statement here so return statement what it does is whatever the methods what we are returning 
those methods we can register into the command button to use because this is all the methods what we see inside this object in this namespace it is wrapped here right so if you have if it is returned then those return methods we can use so this is where uh, like this you can if suppose the same command library if you want to use for account then you can have this separate uh, similar code here for the account and then you can group the account related functions there and then you can return whatever the functions you need to register because some most of the functions will be the auxiliary function which you need to call within the your block and don't need to expose outside so those functions no need to return. So only the function which you want to register, you need to return. So like that, you can design your code when you're writing the JavaScript. So this is the name. So final namespace of my function will be this one. So I'll copy this name, which because we need to use it. So here now coming after coming to my uh, solution, this uh, my web resource is published. So now we are going to uh, use this resource into the command button so we have completed this second part which is the creating the web resource we have done it now we'll create the command button on this subgrid so for that we'll go to the our app here and this is our dnlb app we'll open in edit mode and here we have the contact view right so here we'll select the contact edit uh, command bar and then here we can add the button on the main uh, main grid, uh, main form, subgrid, and associated view. So here I will select the subgrid. So I have selected. These are the buttons already available for this subgrid. So I will add the new button here, command button. It came here. I can give this name. So this is the name like send SMS. OK, and now we can use the icon like similar to email. Just I'm just keeping. Otherwise, you can add the customized icon here for the button. OK, now the once this is click, then you can run the actions. So actions can be two type or we can run the actions as a two type of one. One is the using the uh, formula, which is the power FX formula. You can use it. Otherwise, you can run the JavaScript. So I will, since I have developed the code using the JavaScript, so this already we have registered. So we will select run JavaScript, and then we need to include our library here. So we will add, we will search the library that is a script, and this is our library. We'll add it. It is added now. It is asking the function name. So as I mentioned, so the the full namespace our function is this one because this send sms is getting returned here and this is the part of this namespace right so that is why the final full namespace of my function is this one so i'll copy this name and then put here and then we need to pass the parameters so add the parameter and the first parameter will be the primary control we'll add it because we are we are passing the primary control here when it is called primary control we are passing from that we are getting the subgrid control so that is why i will add here there is no need to add any other parameter so now here the visibility is important so visibility if you see by default when the visibility is show it indicates that this button will be visible but until if any item is not selected as soon as you will select the item it will go it will get away so let me save and publish i'll show you that so once it is published, we will reload our uh, form. This might take a little while. Okay, so it is published. So now this is my account. I will refresh this. Go to the contact tab. It is still not coming. So better I will play the from here. Go to account. Open the account. And here in the contact. Now we are having the send SMS button, right? Which just now we have designed. 
now if you select the row you will see this button is getting hidden right so this is why because in the command editor of this button in the visibility we have make as so but we need to show this button every time right otherwise if you have some condition you can show it so other option to show is that using the formula condition otherwise we can have the javascript also to be added as a method where we can show that one so i will just select it because i want to show this button every time whether we have uh, whatever the record we have selected or not selected i want to show that so to do that we have to make sure it shows always here so i will select the other option here it will open the true one and we need to save and publish so when you do that it will create the new component library into our solution and in that comp component library it will have the logic to show this button always because the visibility is true here so this will always return true so always this button will be displayed so we, i have published it i'll play this again go to the accounts open it contact tab It will take some time to load maybe to open this one over it is always true so it is fine i'll try to refresh this again now you can see the button is visible now if you select the record also then still this button is visible right now it's not getting hidden so like that because the in the uh, formula fx we uh, in the power fx so it is giving given as a true value so it is always written that one so now this is how it is visible now so on this button it is enabled so let's check it if it is working fine to send the sms so i have selected the three contact and once it is successfully submitted then in the plugin trace log i should be able to see the three messages and also we are logging some information here right in the control console log we are having that many times of user console sending the sms so i'll open that into the debugger here impact so inspect here i'll go to the console clear the console okay nothing here Okay, so uh, what I will do, I'll select this. So clear this, I'll select these three records and then send SMS. That is asking, we have selected the three records. Are you going to send the SMS? I'll say, okay. So now it has uh, three message times, it has loop and the, all those three messages, uh, you know, it will be failed because the contacts numbers are not verified so it has failed for the same reason invalid number invalid number unverified number and verified number so this is the same reason or same re reason why this sms has been failed if i see the plugin trace logs from here it will create the five trace three trace logs because three contact is selected so now you can see the uh, it's not it came here it will take some time to add the test now you can see here so three test logs has been uh, added here and this test log is coming from the plugin what we have this plugin code this plugin code it is coming from there and it has uh, given the exception because yeah our number is uh, uh, giving it's it is having not registered one so here in the execution so it has given the same reason so now i think you understood how to uh, register the command button on the subgrid and use it and add the javascript function on that and how to execute the uh, any action using the javascript so i hope uh, this video was useful to you guys and thank you for watching this video